It's been a while, Danny Martinello. It, it, it has been a while. It's been a nice. fat while, man. It's been a big old fat yeah, it's while. It's been a fat while. This guy crushed and killed Tony, eh? Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> it's funny. I did it, and then I like watched it back, and I was like, fuck. I was like, just talking too much. At one point where I reiterated too much about how fucking I like Austin, and I probably could have talked about that less, but I don't know. It was good. It was okay. all around. It was fun. Yeah, so. man. Yo, that's dope. I, to, I, what is that? A little zin? You took a zin out? No, no zin. You know, just oh, a little, little five gum. A little gum, man. Eh? A little gummer for the kid. <laughs> A little gummer for the boy? You, I haven't seen this guy. Oh my God, so long. Long. How Yo. much caffeine you got, bro? You got a Celsius? Buddy, you got a coffee? <laughs> what is it? A caffeine and nicotine <laughs> podcast here. <laughs> I got you a fucking quad shot of oh, coffee, nice. brother. Oh, nice. fucking red eye. Oh, my man. hazel eyes. You already know. Well, it's okay. When we finish the coffee. Jacked up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> when we finish the coffees, we'll just uh, s- split these the Celsius. Oh, dude, I'd love it. <laughs> Please, these split <laughs> meet with measies. Yo, how, t- what was your, how was your kill time? Yo, 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 bro. Are you all Actually, it was funny, man. I was cooking bacon today to the morning prayer. I don't know. If That's that, haram, bro. It's super haram. It's but super haram, bro. In my house, man, all ethnicities and religions get <laughs> mixed together. Jesus Christ. Well, I, I wasn't look. cooking bacon. It was no? actually my roommate. But, was Jared? Yeah, but there was, there was some sizzling and some crisps <laughs> going on. I mean, I'm not even Muslim, bro. I know that, dude. Yeah. I'm not even Muslim. I listen to the morning prayer. Yeah? Sometimes it's nice. You it gets me little, amped up. You do a little, uh, little, little uh, prayer on your knees? Well, sometimes, no, not that far. I know okay. never worship false gods. Oh, uh, shit. Or false prophets. <laughs> 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 I don't know what kind of energy I'm coming to. Oh, but buddy. sometimes before I eat, I'll say Bismillah. Hey, that's that's like the most common thing you can do for like the basic thing you can do. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you're not even Muslim. Or if somebody gets uh, like something wicked, I say wish Allah to them. Wish Allah? That's yeah. a good one. Something yeah, like yeah. that. I'll even say, uh, <laughs> fuck it. I don't know, man. I was actually writing a joke how I have like Arabic Tourette's where it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'll just sit out of nowhere and go, la, la, la. <laughs> or I'll just fucking just out of nowhere. Alhamdulillah. Just fucking chilling. <laughs> that's and hilarious. Yeah. Mostly screaming it into my mic on Xbox. But that's for yeah, strategic yeah, yeah. reasons. That's for strategic for reasons. Strategic reasons. It's, gets it's, gets it's, them amped up. Yeah. You must. Yeah. You, you, you know must. Good, you know what a good one is? What? If you're like, uh, if something goes wrong or you're trying to find somewhere and you can't find it and you're just upset or you're frustrated. Yeah. Say, stuck for the law. Stuck for law. <laughs> Holy stuck fuck. Hey, this just guy just <laughs> hacked a luger on the podcast. Hold on. Well. <laughs> I was just really getting that Arabic. Well, cause, yeah, because you're stuck for Allah. Stuck for Allah. Stuck, it's like a stuck. Stuck for Allah. Stuck for Allah. You're a stuck for Allah. That's what that. That's Buddy, what I was actually thinking of a T-shirt I wanted to make yesterday, where it's uh, it's uh, like this, but it's Ricotta forever. Oh, like Wakanda forever, but then yeah, it's the that's Italian, perfect. Hands the Italian and, ones. Yeah, Ricotta forever. <laughs> so I was just eating a nice white slice. Oh my god, Jared. unreal. Yeah. Wait, is it just you and Jared? And me and Jared in the pl- in the place, and then uh, I think we're gonna sublet it to another buddy here for January, February. Okay. And then uh, I'll go down to Austin for those two months. Yeah, because you're you're gonna be an Austin boy soon, huh? Soon, yeah. Yeah. Soon, you I think, think it's- so. Because, like, I mean, you fucking crushed that Kill Tony performance. Yeah. yeah That's they, fucking dope. To they, see. Uh, they, we had a nice kind of like little get together or whatever at Mincy's Bar and stuff. And it was the the general vibe was like, okay, finish your shit in New York and then come here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, with, with like the other comics who were on the show or the. the no, just like the, Tony and, Tony and, those and the gang and a couple of the regulars yeah. and then the production people. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. That's so, so nice. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was definitely high risk, high reward. But yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. laughing because if you watch the minute, dude, I'm mm-hmm. like kind of dying inside not like in a bad way but like i'm giggly and laughing because it's going exactly the same way oh. as the first one went okay where i'm like my minute's not hitting but i know that oh. this is just like uh because i do all the act outs right and the only yeah. way that it's usually funny off the top when i'm doing the setup is you've already assumed you've already like got to know my character mm. and like kind of like the vibe of my comedy so then once i go in they're like oh, okay this is we're in the pocket already so i knew i was gonna have like a 30 second setup of physical act outs to yeah. silence for right. hoping that my payoff and my misdirection is just like, cause it's just a fucking 30 second lead up of a CPR oh, no. bit. And then the whole, the whole thing is just a blowjob joke. It, like me sucking a dude's dick. 
It's so, that's insane. Yeah. So I was like, ho- I was like, <laughs> I was like, this gots to hit. I'm like, this gots to hit. And this then, right here. Yeah, dude. And then it hit, and I was like, oh, okay, good. <sighs> but it wasn't like as big as I wanted it to. But it's like it's weird because it's like when you're in the room is different from viewing it on YouTube. What do you mean? Like when you're in the room. Like the As energy a, oh, and yeah. like uh, just the jokes and like the vibe of the place. So it's like watching it, you're like, oh fuck, this guy, like oh, this guy's too like, he's too much, you know. But in the time in the room, it was like perfect. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's I like, see, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, so like even I was watching it and being like, man, fuck this guy. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but, you're like, what was I doing? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, look at you, you little nervous <laughs> fuck over speaking, you know, all that kind of things. But it was like it was like super fun and stuff. But it was like it was nice where I'm like. I don't know. I just enjoyed it. And it was like, uh, it was good. And it was kind of like a nice feeling of being like, oh, okay. Cause like the whole t- week I was there, I was just like, like, I don't know. In New York, it's whatever sometimes, but it's like, I don't really feel the muse too much here. Like it's too almost loud or overbearing and stuff. So it's hard for me to kind of like tune into that frequency or like, uh, or there's just a sense of like, it's like a weird, like, I don't know vibe almost intersect where it's like i can't be fully free because then it's like these people are like oh uh, 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 like uh, yeah, yeah like when i first went to toronto i had to like learn the how how toronto was and like learn their almost political landscape or their beliefs kind of thing or like tone down the albertanness mm. and now it's like yeah. i almost have to tone down the canadian but also like the vibe where they're like look at me where they're like oh this guy would definitely vote for trump oh kind of so you don't want that well like i don't know you don't want to like single yourself out well, not no, really I, single I myself out. It's like I want to be free, but in the same time, it's yeah. just like some parts of the like because I've been doing a lot of shows in Brooklyn. So then okay. it's like when I'm in B- Williamsburg or Bushwick or like all those kind of things. Yeah. It's like that yuppity kind of like yeah. almost East Ossington or West Ossington oh, okay. feel. Very progressive. Yeah, progressive yeah. almost in a sense where it's just like, no. oh, okay. And, but then when the crowds are down and I can finally be free, I'm like, oh, this is fucking uh, dynamite amazing. where I reach like a new level. But I feel like when I was in Austin, I was like, oh, man, I could just fucking fool around and have yeah. fun, man. Like, you know, yeah. because I could ride that line but also it's like i don't know there's something nice about having like a place that was like it just reminded me of alberta in an aspect of like mm. but not you know yeah where i'm like i can just it just felt like i was back home just fucking around and then i, I looked up the population and i'm like it's less than edmonton really yeah dude like austin's nine hundred and like eighty five thousand, and edmonton's like 1.2 Oh shit! Yeah, M- Edmonton's moving up. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> EDM yeah, baby. Bro, that's Oiler County, right. <laughs> oil country, <laughs> oil country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so that, that's interesting because um, from what I know of you, yeah, obviously. First of all, I've always loved your your act outs, your energy. I fucking love it. Oh, right? You're one of my favorites. Just from the beginning. Yeah, when we started, I was like... Didn't make me cry. Yeah, man. Yeah, zap that shit with the spit you just <laughs> yeah. had on your mind. Ah, it's all right. It's, it's community, buddy. It's, yeah, it's, it's community. It's for the people. Fuck it, bro. Yeah. No, I, uh, I, I always... Um, every time I did sets in Toronto, I was like, oh, man, it will be sick if I'm in the same lineup as Danny. As yeah. Martinello. Or, you know, same way I felt about you know either Che or like Ryan or, uh, you know, other guys like that. Yeah. And yeah. Um, it's interesting hearing you say that... <laughs> You almost have to tone it down in a way so people don't in the states or in different areas, yeah, don't label you as a certain thing. Isn't well, that I, trippy to think about? Because yeah, a little bit, but it's like a, it's also that's like up to me now, where it's like okay, now I have to use my artistic ability to kind of like blend in, but also stand out, kind of thing. So I, I don't know. It may be sounding like I'm kind of like complaining or something like this, but it, I'm no. not. I'm necessarily. I just find it like an interesting fact where it's like, oh, okay, like. I have to figure out these guys kind of like where they stand. Mm. Right. And then find like where I can kind of play with them within the limit and then be like, okay, now we're going to push it into my world. Yeah. yeah. Did, when you were doing the kill Tony set, cause yeah, you, you did it once before and you said you didn't like the, the first time. No, I didn't like the first time, but it was like different in an aspect where it was like the first time I got pulled was we went in there and my buddy was a sound engineer that I met and he was Jared Nathan's like, uh, I don't know, mm. like quote unquote handler for the week. <laughs> right. And then uh, just to make sure like he came down as yeah, his yeah. friend from Toronto and he's like making sure that he's not getting like taken advantage of and all this shit. Yeah, but he was yeah. a music sound engineer. And when we went to go sign up at the Vulcan, he put his name in the bucket just to come in, right? Because it was so many people were like, you couldn't get in unless you had a ticket or you signed in. But then mm-hmm. we got in and then the last bucket pull was his name. And then we were like, oh, fuck it. He's like, I'm not going up. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to go up either. Like, if I go up, I'm going to go up as me kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. And then we were on our way out. And then they're like, oh, we'll do another bucket pull. Oh, it's Danny Marnello. Oh, and then I was shit. like, what the fuck? You, then me? Gee, well, this is crazy. Yeah. And then I ran on stage and then oh. I grabbed the mic. And then as soon as I got the mic, I was like, 
what the fuck is I going to be doing? Oh, you know, I was shit. just like, what's my minute, dude, right? And oh, you didn't even think no, about it. No, bro, I was halfway out the door. Oh, and then shit. so when I ran up, I was like, what the fuck? And then I like kind of blanked when I was up there. And then I just resorted to the shit that was like, kind of working when I was there in Austin, working on some new stuff. And uh, I didn't even know what a minute, like, mm. you know? So I did it. But then the whole time I'm doing it, I'm like, just land this plane. Please, You're bombing. Bro. Just land it. Just land it. Like, oh, yeah. I'm like, just land it. Get a laugh. <laughs> Get a chuckle at least. You know what I mean? I'm like, take your licks. There's fucking. Take your licks. 1.5 million people are going to watch you. Everybody's yeah. going to know I bombed kill Tony. <laughs> like I'm going back to like Canada being a fucking loser. Right. And then I'm going like, oh, shit. Rigs. Yeah. And then, uh, got a little pop or whatever. And then in my interview, they asked me to tell another joke. And then I, that joke fucking yeah. hit. Yeah. And then they gave me the gel blaster, the notebook and then mm -hmm. the secret show. So I was like, okay. But then mm -hmm. the whole time I'm like, I got to defend my honor. Yeah. You know, you I'm, have like, to. I'm like, I got to go back. Uh, yeah. I'm like, this <laughs> world needs to see who I am. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then, so then this one, they like, I was doing my little showcase at the little boy and then I found out that I got pulled and then they put me backstage and then I had three comics before me. So I had like a good like 30 minutes behind the curtain. Oh, okay. Kind of like chilling. Yeah, that's good. Figuring it out, so, yeah. you know, getting it in, like yeah. cooling, calming, breathing, doing all that shit. And I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Mm. And then I'll go out and do it. And then I was like, all right, they're going to ask me this question in the interview. And then I'm going to direct them with this joke. And yeah, I'm going to do yeah. this. And if my fucking minute fails, I'm going to shoehorn another minute in there with yeah. this bit, you know, and yeah. like kind of smart. Thing. Yeah. So then I went out and then as this bits just fucking <laughs> <laughs> like from what it felt like, I'm like laughing because yeah. I'm like, oh, man, this is exactly like last uh, time. I'm like, I can't nail this fucking minute. Yeah. yeah. And then the interview went really good and yeah. shit. And then it was just like, all right, we're good to go now. So. Yeah. And you met Ron White. Yeah, I did. Uh, Ron White came out. Legend. Fucking gave me a little hug, brought me in, said, welcome to Austin, buddy. It's great to have you. And I was like, sick. And then fucking Tony gave me MSG. And then uh, Mitzi. He what? He gave me Madison Square Garden. What do you mean? Like when they come back to do Madison Square Garden. Oh, gave, no way. Yeah, he gave me. Fuck the, yeah. yeah. Did you even watch the no, episode, let's bro? Go. Actually, no, I didn't even <laughs> I see the full thing. That's no, why. Yeah, so they gave me Madison Square let's Garden. Let's go. Yeah, and then when they come back, so I'll do. Uh, Hell yeah. You know, however that is. And then they kind of want to make me, uh, they want to see what the fucking, what the yeah. fans and the show kind of think of me. And I looked at some of the comments and the comments are all positive. Yeah, of course. And of course there's yeah, fucking yeah. super some negative. Haters. Oh yeah. But it's oh, the yeah. same shit that I've had, but some of them are so funny. They were like calling me Dane Coke. <laughs> and I'm, uh, yeah. And I'm yeah, like, of course, but of then course. some of them sting and I'm like, okay, I got to, yeah. like, after the first day, I'm like, there's only going to be like more, but it's like a good 80, 20 split. So I'm like, okay, that's good. Perfect. No. Yeah. But I also like it that I've polarized someone where it's like, yeah. you either love me or you hate me on it. So I love it where it's like, and I want to, and like, they run it like WWE. Almost. Yeah. It yeah, feels yeah. like it. Right. Yeah, so yeah. I want to come in as like well, the nice guy, maybe and then turn heel. Turn, or some yeah, shit yeah. On them. yeah. Yeah. You turn dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, you need that because then that means, well, I actually think that's, that's, that's when you're doing it right is when you have a few people who are like, yeah, fuck this guy. Oh yeah. That means like, you know, people are almost more invested. Yeah. Yeah. But then it was also nice to see some of the other people were like, no, fuck you, man. Comedy subjective. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. just suck. And then <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. Okay. So yeah. It's like, they're starting to build. And that's so good. it's good. It's nice. Nah, that's know. great, man. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not even surprised though, because you've been doing comedy for what, like 12 years? No, it'd be fi it's 15 now, and then in February it'd be 16. Yeah. Yeah. It bro, started like 2009. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, yeah. fucking, it's obviously well overdue, if anything. Yeah. And well, it comes, well deserved, it comes you know? to you when it comes to you, you know? Yeah. So when it, not, what's meant for you is, is going to come, yeah. and like, you know, this is the start of all those things for you, I think. And yeah. Bro, I even like t 10 years, well, when I started in 2015, when I first saw you too, I was like, oh man, like if there's a few people I could point out and be like, they're going to make it. It would yeah. be Ryan Long from the beginning. Yeah. Danny Martinello, Chater, you know what I'm saying? Like the same people that I think about and you're all here now. Yeah. I'm like, okay, like these people, I was in a way right in my head. I'm like, yeah. oh, these guys are going to like probably do something to like elevate their careers. And I'm like, it's just nice. You know, like when you're one of, your, one of the boys. Yeah. Who, you 100%. Know, like, you know, man. It's, it's nice to see, you know? Well, and it's like, cool. I was talking to Jared the other day about this where I'm like, it's just nice to see like coming from Canada and then like the little like little corner crew or mm. like uh, just the, like the guys that would grind and kind of were like, fuck it. Like didn't look at the scene as like, Oh, this is the all end all be all where no. it was just like, we were like, fuck this man. There's more on the other side. And then mm. once we get here, we see like who's came or like, you know, just the original people where it's like 10 years ago, we were all talking about this while we were waiting for like a Your spot, a spot in the alley, yeah. just cracking jokes and shit. And then now we're here. We're like, okay, this is sick. But that's the thing is like, even from the beginning, like guys like Mark Anthony, Synagoga, Synagoger, shout out Mark Synagogert. Anthony, Synagoger, um, 
Uh, I remember when I first started too. It was you and him who were always like fucking on the road in Alberta and shit. I'm like, bro, where are you guys going? Oh yeah. Like, why are you guys always going to do hours? I didn't know at the money. time, right? But yeah. then I was like, oh shit, that's smart. And yeah. that's when I started to do it early on too. Where I was like, all right, let me just not just stay in this one block. No, you can't, because then it was like you would always see like uh, the Toronto comics, and then they yeah. would come out, and then you're like, oh, you haven't worked the road, and like oh, this yeah. is like kind of your first time out of Toronto, and now you're doing your little Toronto, Toronto TTC jokes. bits, exactly, or your fucking exactly. CN Tower bits, yeah. or your little like. Whatever things are in the hundred percent, how rest of the country is like, bro. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, what's this fucking yeah. plug talking? Yeah, about? yeah, exactly. Talk to us about a dually, yeah, a fucking smoke stack. <laughs> yeah, tell yeah. me, tell me something authentic yeah, about yeah, you, brother. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Be more real. Yeah, kind of. Instead of being like this little thing, so I don't know. But I've always been like that. I've always seen yeah, comedy have. as like a martial art, where it's mm-hmm. like I want to go learn a different style, or even like going to Melbourne or the yeah. UK and shit. I was like. I just like taking adventures and getting myself yeah. out of that comfort zone and then just going back home and being like, oh, yeah, it was super fun. But really, I, I fucking bombed like 60% so of my much. sets. Yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. in Australia, right? Yeah, dude. Bro. Yeah, in Australia. That's, that's something me and you have in common. U- yeah. In the UK, too, Brother. it was fucking tough. They're like, Bruh. so this is Canadian comedy. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, yeah, man, fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Oh, my God, man. Let yeah. me tell you about Australia. Like, okay, yeah, you well, have you, to. Is we have a lot of catching up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, aside from this, we will. But, like, honestly, it's actually, first of all, it's hilarious how uh, I see a lot of myself in YouTube because because of the travel. Yeah. Because I've obviously, I've been to Berta many times now. Yeah, yeah. I've been to BC a little bit and, like, you know, all around a little bit of Canada and U.S. a little bit. But we went to Australia uh, also. You've been to Australia for a while. And you, man, at this point, I think we have a good gauge on where is probably the worst place for us to go Mm -hmm. in terms of like satisfaction of good sets. Australia is number one on the list. For you. 100%. (laughs) I've never bombed so much and so deep. Oh, yeah. And long and thick and wide in my entire life, bro. (laughs) Like literally, bro, at some point, it was one of the, I've I've had five maybe moments in my life where I was like, man, maybe I should just quit comedy. Oh, yeah. You'll have more. Five of them were in Australia. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> in the span of a few months yeah that's why like, why what happened bro yeah i don't understand okay first of all what i what i know of australia and just the culture in general i was there for a while it was nine months yeah i learned obviously by the end that you know aussies they love their own humor yeah right they love their own humor about australian shit whatever when i did do jokes about australia they loved it right yeah but then when you start I don't know. There's some crazy, oh, lady. crazy lady, dude. I love it how we're like in a weird like an aquarium. I know it's pretty yeah. cool, right? <laughs> yeah, I like it. Hey, shout out to PNT Knitwear. Shout out to PNT Network. N- knitwear. Knitwear. Yeah, and network. And network. <laughs> uh, th- th- if you're watching and listening to this, if you care to uh, to hear, but um, this is a community podcast studio. If you're in New York City, check it out. All right, this is amazing. I love it because it reminds me of like community radio. Yeah, exactly. Like I never like did a it, but university I know. Yeah. Station yeah, 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 yeah. University yeah. station. That's what I'm saying. I feel like we're in university, pal. We are, buddy. No, we're well, in the big leagues. Couple of couple of uni well, students. If, well, if you look at it, I always look at comedy as if it is kind of like as well as martial arts. But I look at the year form like uh, an educational system too, where it's like I feel like you don't really know anything until it's like past the twelve year mark, as you got your like oh, kindergarten yeah. to grade twelve, mm-hmm. and then now it's like we're in our masters. That's degree. true. Hundred percent university post secondary. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, except still wasting all still our money. Still wasting money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big time, big time. Um, but no, I, I so Australia. I found out that um, they don't like act outs a lot and physical. Oh, comedy. you don't say. Oh, oh I know. You don't say. Trust me, I'm. I'm like you, bro. Like, I do <laughs> act outs and facial expressions and accents. They hate it. <laughs> doing they hate doing it. act outs to silence is the <laughs> bro, fucking worst. The bro. most humbling yeah, thing. Yeah. Bro, there was one sh- the one of the last shows I'd, I was on stage yeah. for 40 minutes. Yeah. I'm not even joking. Maybe one laugh. Like on one line oh, of that's a joke. Brutal. The oh, rest of the sweat, time, sweat sweating. of bead coming down your back, dude, down bead. the middle of your spine. It was a fucking <laughs> <Really>? waterfall, dude. <laughs> bro. It, unbelievable and like and i'm i'm seeing the people yeah full room oh yeah and they're just yeah in their head staring at you like I'm you just, are an alien yo for sure well we are we're, we're not native <laughs> to their land we're not native to their land at all yo we are an it's, alien it's wild man oh yeah and you know what the worst part is leaving the show and the show's done they want to people come, still people come out 10 different people Mate, that was a fucking sick show, mate. 
oh, one of the funniest shows I've seen all year. Oh, yeah. I'm like, bro, what do you mean? I didn't yeah. see you laugh. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, and right. I'm sure you've gotten that many Oh, times. 100%. Right? I'm like, why? Just laugh now. It's like you got a bus full of people that came in and just fucking had the shittiest field trip. <laughs> yeah, literally, yeah. bro. I'm like, what, what, what happened on the way, guys? Yeah, fucking... Uh, Jesus. I don't know. It's all, like, I don't know. I love Australia, but at the same time, I, know, I think yeah. it's like, I'm like, it feels like a time warp. You go back there and you're like, you guys are like behind. 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 Like by like four years. Yeah. It was like. Right. But they're also like so fun. I know that is. Yeah. Super no, uh, fun. But you're also like, well, where the fuck where, are we? Where are you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> like what's going on? Figure That's why out. I love how it's like so isolated that they have their own little like thing and <laughs> yeah. pocket. And like, yeah. you walk into their world and you're like, what the fuck are we doing? Here? Yeah, man. Yeah. There were times where I was standing in the in public and I was like, bro, like, is this even real? Oh, yeah. Am I it's, a, it's the hole in the ozone that's really frying their brains, oh, eh? Oh, man, for sure. All the fucking dermatology centers. Yeah, man. Just <laughs> populated like it's McDonald's over there. Yeah, Maccas. <laughs> Maccas. Yeah, Mac. Shaky Maccas. Shaky Maccas, huh? <laughs> well, I gotta get Shaky for Maccas a toasty? Yeah, a little... Shaky for a toasty? Yeah, a little toasty, a little brekkie with the kids. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Too easy, mate. Yeah. Too easy. Everything's too easy over too there. Too easy. No, sometimes it's not fucking easy. No, it's fucking really hard conveying <laughs> yeah. what I want from yeah. you guys. Yeah, actually, it's too hard. Yeah, too hard. It sounds like it's a like Boston easy. accent. <laughs> I like it, man. I like uh, I learned with Smoko when I was there. Yeah, Smoko, yeah. bro. Bottle uh, Not doing fuck all. I'm on Smoko. Smoko. The f- like Bottle O. Fucking. Um, uh, What's Bottle O? Bottle O's a liquor sh- sh- store. Oh, okay. Bottle O. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just in a stall boy in a b- bottle of mate. I'm like, what the fuck are you saying? Right? It's like, yeah. your Aussie accent shot. did really good. It got really good, though. While you're oh, there. yeah. I mean, fucking better. Like, yeah. nine months. Yeah. Course. I mean, yeah. But no, it's, um, but I mean, it is a fun place, though. I, I would live there if I wasn't doing comedy. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, the, the quality of life is awesome. It's amazing. Yeah, you make good money. The fucking women are beautiful. The fucking sky is great. Food is awesome. Sky is great. Sky is great, dude. <laughs> it's good, man. They got a fucking fantastic sky, bro. Yeah, it is, bro. You ever it's looked so into it yeah. when it's sunsets? Yeah. Oh, but St. Kilda? Oh, and man, you're like, St. Kilda, fuck. yeah. Or even in the Gold Coast, man. Oh, my you're just, God, bro. I love the Gold, Gold Coast. Coast. Did Gold. a wicked-ass pizza shop show there with uh, for based comedy like a couple years ago. Mm. And uh, fuck, man, was it dynamite. Super fun. Yeah. yeah. What, what, was, uh, what was your favorite part about Australia? Just a favorite moment, if anything. Uh, I had a couple of moments that were pretty sick, but uh, I don't really want to talk about them on air. Uh, but uh, I had some really fun times. I don't honestly, man, just meeting like the the, the friends that I met there, you know, like uh, thinking that it was just going to be kind of like a uh, comedian friendship where it's like, you know, I can hook them up with shows. They can hook me up with shows like that kind of shit. Or like when I'm there, we'll go do shows together. But some of the friendships turned into like, pretty pretty good life ones man and uh, i'd probably say like the funnest time i had there would be like uh just exploring it and like doing shows and then you know when you get to the point where you're like ah fuck it i don't care like i'm gone in two weeks and then you kind of just let go and then now you're like fully like in the pocket staying present you don't give a fuck you're never gonna see these people again yeah. so it gives you like a sense of liberty i know like that's what it was like and then i was like oh like when you feel the power growing too but I've been down there a couple times, so it's like the first time that was there was very fun mm. and kind of like explorative where I'm finding like, you know, myself abroad, but then also like figuring out like what they are and, and just being in Australia. And then the second time was super fun because I went down with Natish yeah. and uh, it was like in my sobriety, like starting sobriety phase, broken hearted, but like I, w- I wasn't drinking, so I'd smoke cigarettes uh, and then I called it broken darted. Uh, so that me and Natish, we would just be like, we're two broken hearted dudes, <laughs> <laughs> and we just smoke cigarettes till the sun came up and then we'd rinse, wash, repeat and then do like shows and shit. Mm. So it was nice. Did some acid down there yeah, and like, as you should. Yeah. I don't know. It was just nice to kind of like see them on their home soil too. Yeah. I know. Cause you only see them like in Banff or Jasper or That's Whistler true. and shit I or know. like at bars going across. And then when you see the, what they're like in their natural habitat, you're yeah. like, holy fuck, man, you guys are equally insane down I know. here. I know. With yeah. their little sandals. <laughs> yeah. Little, little thongs. Yeah. 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 Thongs and the fucking bogans and their the youths fucking and their bogans, fucking my, yeah. yeah, bro, the bogans kill me. Yeah, it was funny too because I went down there with uh, blunt stones and then I was like, oh yeah, whatever, I just wear these. And all of them were like, dude, why are you wearing work boots? 
<laughs> and then I'm like, oh, this is like a fashion thing in Toronto. Yeah, and literally. I never wore them again. Oh, really? Yeah, when I was down there. Oh, that's I didn't hilarious. Wear them. Yeah, because they're fucking roasting you. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm walking up like a fucking service worker. <laughs> <laughs> just like they're like are those steelies and i'm yeah, like yeah. what i'm like no they're like what the yeah. fuck you wearing work boots yeah for, bro? what are you going to fucking mines yeah you going to the mines mate yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you trading coming from the farm yeah. what are you doing here and i'm doing like farm oh, yeah. work yeah. yeah but in toronto that's a nice fall, fall oh buddy footwear. it is it truly is yeah. but that's the thing too man they're and their fashion is also behind everything is everything's behind because they're in their little time warp but then they also get i find they have a massive influence from britain more so than they oh, do yeah. than america 100 percent so it's like you're getting like that kind of shit. Yeah. That's where I found. That's where I really liked their jokes because they were really like British influence. Set a punchline, callback, joke, right. one liner. Here's a little thing. Weird misdirection. Yeah. Kind of thing. There was no like crazy act out or outs. physical. Yeah. Yeah. I things know. like that. And then when I did find the ones that did it, I was just like, "You are God." Oh yeah. I was like, "Holy I know. fuck, where have you been my whole one? life?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> What's the uh, fucking. Uh, <laughs> The dude from Dune? What's the, what do they call him? The oh, I don't know. I didn't see or whatever. Or fucking. Oh, uh, the fucking. Oh, it's, it's actually a. Because uh, um, I saw. Uh, I haven't seen the movie. Al Mushahideen or no Mushahideen. Ma- Mamun or something like that. Yeah. Or so whatever. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, some yeah. butchered fucking name that they couldn't pronounce. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Bismillah. <laughs> Bismillah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that Hamdu Allah? Okay. <laughs> Yo, is that fucking Hamza Allah, dude? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hamza Kamala, <laughs> Chayo. I mean, now I want to look it up here. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I've never seen Dune, but... That's oh, a cute little corgi. Corgi doggy. Good little doggies outside. That's the beauty of doing this podcast in the studio, is you can just see people walking by. Everyone's just staring. I feel like I'm in... Uh, you ever know... Uh, you ever watched the Much Music... Um, uh, what's it called? The Much Music... Uh, street, street corner, street, speaker's corner, speaker's corner. Yeah, yeah it's so kind of like that. To find it, no, okay. here. It, it kind of, it, it kind of. No, it's okay, man. You can be a little rude, you know. Ah, fuck it. It's not even funny. No, the cool. joke's done. No, you're, you're, good. you're good. You're good. <laughs> Look at this fucking poor corgi. I, they put, <laughs> and they put a muzzle on a it. A little muzzy, just to keep your killies in ten. That's it. Yeah, but yeah, it feels like speaker's corner. I like this, man. It also it reminds me of like when you do a like radio, and then sometimes yeah. you're like outside, and you like you I see know. it. Yeah. Shit. yeah, or when you would like go across Toronto, and then you'd see the MTV, but then they'd have that fucking uh, MTV Live or whatever with mm. that chick, and then they oh, would yeah, also yeah. be doing what three gays and a girl or something. Oh yeah, that was a classic. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of good ones. Oh, I loved um, the ones where they uh, had the live dance thing. What was it called? Fucking uh, uh, video, uh, video DJs. No, those well, video the- on trial. Yeah, that was a good one too. Video on trial was pretty cool. Uh, but there's another one. Fuck, it was like where they had like a live. They filmed it. And yeah, much video dance parties or whatever. Yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was. I think it was obviously I was a kid, so I couldn't go. But um, we had this thing in Edmonton called Rock and Ride, and then it would take. Of You'd go to Galaxyland, the amusement park inside <laughs> West Ed, and then they would cook. You, ha- you had to be like uh, 14 to 18. You were only allowed 14 oh, really? to 18. Yeah. And then uh, you would just get like super shit face, ride the rides. They'd have DJs and stuff. But then they took the go-kart course and uh, they took that out, turned it into a dance floor. And that's where you'd go and finger the chicks. Oh, classic. Yeah. yeah. 15 year old finger banging. Just on the, an oh, animal. It, it, during the day, it smelled like burnt rubber. And oh, then my God. It smelled God. like fucking fish, bro. That's absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah. But like, you know, so typical. Rock and ride. Baby. Rock and ride, pal. Rock and ride. That's so fun. So hey, you, play, you you didn't play hockey. You're not a hockey player. No, I didn't play hockey. Because no. everyone thinks anyone who talks like fucking, you know, they're just like Canadian and shit. Hey, yeah. like they, they're, they're you're a puck player. But like. No, I never you didn't I play don't, at all. Don't even really know how to skate well. And That's then uh, <laughs> I played soccer and like wrestled and shit. And like I grew up kind of like my dad didn't really want to get up early and like pay for oh, hockey yeah. equipment. And then and then when I, I was in school, I'd always be fighting the hockey kids anyway. Oh, okay. So, so you're I already did, telling so I didn't want to play hockey. Oh, okay. So you're like, I'm already beating these guys, these fools yeah, on and, land. Yeah. And then winter was like, uh, we'd just play indoor soccer and stuff. Wow. Yeah. I never yeah. played hockey. You didn't even, but you're such a huge hockey fan. I uh, just an Oilers fan. Okay, so yeah. you're not like an NHL fan. Right? No, like I'll just watch the Oil oh. and then like some good games or whatever. But I'm not like fantasy team all this shit. Oh, okay, like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought you were like a big hockey fan. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're just prideful of of your city. Yeah, of my city and my hockey team. But then it's like I don't know. Like I grew up a Detroit fan because my parents grew up from Windsor. Oh, really? And then around 2004, that's when I started being kind of like an Oilers fan. Oh, sick. I was, I was like, oh, I might as well cheer for him. Yeah, yeah, Like Oilers, I'm Oilers. here, right? But 
I love the Detroit dynasty of like the 90s yeah. and shit like that. Todd Bertuzzi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking Iserman. All Iserman. that stuff. Hall. Yeah. My favorite, uh, Dominic Hashik was my favorite Hash, player for yeah. a while. Mm. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. Uh, you, you've had a lot of heartbreak then for Edmonton. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit of heartbreak, but character building, as oh, we like yeah. to say it. It's just like stand-up, man. Yeah, you yeah, just keep yeah. getting a hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was super fun. Went to like the finals. Went to a couple games down there during that finals yeah, run. Yeah. and then Last uh, year, right? Last year, yeah. Oh, fuck, man. That's when I broke my sobriety. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. I was at, I was at a game. Uh, I was like two and a half years not drinking, and then I was watching fucking Our Lady Peace at the first home opener oh, yeah. watch party, yeah, game yeah. three. Had yeah. tickets. I was like, fuck it, we're going. Yeah, yeah. And then they're playing there somewhere out there. They're always out there, yeah, dee, yeah, yeah. Dee, near, 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 and they go to the guitar solo, and they're like, Edmonton, are you guys ready for a good game tonight? They're like, yeah. It's like, I got a special surprise for you. Look up. And then I look up, and then three fighter jets fly over, That's and I went, nasty. I need a fucking beer, dude. Yeah, let's just, get cranked. Yeah, man, and then I cracked a Molson, <laughs> and then just got fucked up that night. I was like, this is too much. Uh, too much patriotism, dude. I was just can't. like, I need to, man. <laughs> That's the thing, too, where it's like, I love, like, America because the patriotism. The, I love the USA chant, like, yeah. when they get fucking amped about America. Know, right? And it's like, there's nothing like that, mm. you know? Like, in Canada, if you get jacked up about Canada, they're like, like, you're a Nazi. Yeah. Fucking settle down here. Yeah, you don't like immigrants. Yeah, you what know? You, I am an immigrant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then it's like, here, you're like, USA! Uh, yeah. USA! <laughs> like, the only time Canada gets that fucking amped, dude, is when it's the Olympic hockey. Yeah, like, yeah, that's Like, that's the only true. time you can do it. And then they're like, yeah! yeah. But if you're like just stoked on being Canadian, they're like, you need to. You're racist. Yeah, you you're need to bigot. calm down, man. Like, yeah. and we don't even have a USA channel. We'd only have like a what? C A N, C A N. Then we're just going around no, doing fucking can can, can chants. Can can. <laughs> like, you know? Like, can can, you can can. 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 Like, <laughs> you sound retarded. Oh, yeah, man. But it's like, I fucking love it. And that's the thing, too, where it's just like, like, I want to be almost in the episode. Like if you're here, like here too, if you give like a fuck a USA, like mm. they're like, okay, take it easy. Trumpster. But like in Texas, Trumpster. they're like, fuck yeah, buddy. Yeah. Fucking Texas. You don't mess yeah. with Texas. Yeah. So it's like a double thing I where know. it's like USA plus Texas. Oh, dude. It's like, it's just oh, grimy. Yeah. Just fucking, man. And yeah. Like, you feel, uh, I get chills. Yeah. Dude, you know, you're fucking <laughs> amp, bro. You want to go kick in another country's door and get some fucking oil. Yeah. Dude. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, are you, what are you doing here? Yeah. What are you guys huh? doing? Let me police you for a bit. Yeah. Get over here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just start yelling weird shit like that. Yeah, fucking <laughs> grabbing mailboxes. Just yeah, yeah I'm fucking amped right now. Oh, dude. I want to grab this <laughs> PNT knitted box book and fucking. <laughs> up, dude. All of a sudden, I'm like UAV online. Yeah, exactly. I'm just saying, Kaj. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna fucking, find you. Yeah, getting it, man. <laughs> Oh my god, that's funny. Approaching it's so the drop zone, but you're just going. <laughs> to, you're just going to the fucking Walgreens. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Approaching the drop zone is yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Counter strike. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Yeah, it's so true. It's so true. The the patriotic thing. I mean, I love. I love when um when. I, lo I love patriotism. Oh, dude, it's the best. I don't know why Canada doesn't do it more. Like, I, I feel it when I come here. I see people putting up American flags. You don't see Canadian flags really in Canada. No. Unless you're in like Skoka Alberta, and yeah, fucking Alberta or, like, or like Alberta. Yeah. yeah. Like, you won't be walking down Toronto. Toronto. You'll never see it. No. Yeah. Um, which I think is dumb. Because, like, bro, like, this is your home country. Yeah. I don't understand. Like, even. Even if you're immigrant. Well, I think it's, it has to do with how Canada is a mosaic more so than a melting pot. Like here, it's like, okay, your culture is sure. Okay. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, you're going to be American. Like you come here to be American. Yeah. You know what I mean? What do you well, mean by mosaic? Well, like uh, a melting pot is where it all kinds of like fuse in and then you become American or you're like Italian American or you're like uh, whatever fucking Swahili, Swahili, Somali, yeah, Somali American or fucking Somali. African American <laughs> or like fucking European American yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of thing. And then you become the Americas, right? But mm -hmm. while in Canada, it's like, okay, you can celebrate your heritage. You can celebrate your thing. Like we pride ourselves on, yes, you have your culture, you have your creed and like you're in Canada and stuff, but you get to celebrate your your roots yeah. kind of thing like uh, so that's like the mosaic where it's like all kind of beautiful colors and countries come together to form what is canada oh interesting. so it's like that's that's why you have fucking brampton's basically india it's india and then they it's have like the fucking, yeah they have like the crazy ass like diwali parties and all yeah. that shit and everyone's like what the fuck kind of canada is this you know <laughs> like kind of stuff not in like a negative way but yeah, it's yeah. just like you'll have like other 
things and then when people are like man like figure it the fuck out like yeah. you're in canada and then they're like no 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 no, no. you're racist no, no this is not right yeah yeah no, this yeah. is not okay yeah, yeah it's yeah. not okay, okay not okay man <laughs> Ma'am, I need to stop right there. You need to stop, sir. No. Sir, 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 sir ma'am. Stop. Sir, if you are not going to celebrate this is with us. This is very, very good holiday. This is very good holiday. <laughs> if you are not celebrating, what are you even there doing? Something wrong with your brain. You must just try. <laughs> try it and enjoy it. It's very colorful. See, You'll have a good time if you just <laughs> try it. This is what happens when you don't spice your food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you like samosa? I give yes, you. Yes, you do. Well, then you like Diwali. You are Diwali. Diwali. Now you are Diwali. <laughs> what the fuck is that noise? Do you hear know, that? Bro. Check device power. That's probably it. Oh, that tripped me out. Did you not hear that? Yeah, it was like a beeping one. Like an alarm? Yeah. Was that, is that our <laughs> light? We just see a guy across <laughs> there on fire. <laughs> 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 We're like, holy <laughs> fuck! Just a car tire yeah, yeah. <laughs> rolls across. Yeah, maybe this uh, community podcast. Yeah, this is the beginning <laughs> of the like a World War Z or whatever. <laughs> you just see some guy pressed up against that milk <laughs> truck, <laughs> ah, and his neck all yeah, bitten. Yeah. Some guys just getting fucking like t- just tekkened. Yeah, but nobody can see us because this is tinted. And yeah, we're just chilling here watching everybody <laughs> yeah. die. We're doing a podcast. <laughs> Holy fuck! You see that guy bite his neck? Yeah, it's like it's literally a straight up a movie. Yeah, and then out of all the chaos that is coming, like people dying and all this shit, you'll still see just a homeless guy not care and just start pissing on the wall. Oh man, that's the one thing I've learned about coming to New York specifically. Uh, you know, Toronto is like not the, it's not that safe either, no, especially dude, nowadays. You go down to the TTC, bro. It's quiet. It's clean. It's crisp. It's everything. You come down here. It's dirty. It's mad. Everything's fucked, bro. Guys in the corner. Oh, uh, yeah, shooting, staring at you, just screaming in your face. People bro. staring back at him like it's a Courtney Weaver, an alien, just not moving. Just letting the guy drool <laughs> Yo, in front of so his face. True, oh, yeah, bro. And bro. then I'm an asshole for looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. How can I not look? Oh, dude, it's right there. It's fucked up, man. It's I go sick. back to Canada and goes, Excuse me, good sir. Do you mind if I <laughs> spare a quarter for a cup of Tim's, please? Yeah. And and then I'm like, yeah, sure, yeah, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. Well, thank you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah, thank you very much. Cheer <laughs> up. Walk away and hear that. Like, hey, cock, suck, give me yeah. a fucking buck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, over here. Um, okay, there's it again. It's your device power. No. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not too sure. It's, it's got. I think it's from out there. Is it? It's not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, okay, whatever. It's a mouse or something. I'm fucking tripping out. No, mouse, no. Just the, the most rhythmic mouse. Yeah. He's on beat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you never seen <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, mo- uh, something from nothing? Make something from nothing? No, what is that? It's a beautiful book. It's, uh, it's a child's book, but it's about this tailor that uh, cuts all these cloths or whatever, or doing all these things, and the trimmings fall underneath the floorboards, and the mice yeah. are living in the floorboards, uh, but then they use those cutoffs and waste and fabrics as like... Dish cloths, tablecloths, clothes, ah, bedding, laying, yeah, yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. So the story is to create something from nothing, ah. like using another man's waste or yeah, like another yeah, yeah. kind of like scraps to do it. Is it like, a, a movie? No, it's a book. Oh, it's a book. Yeah, about 16 pages. Pretty good. Easy 16? Re- yeah, it's an easy read. It's no a child's way. book. Oh, all right. Yeah, like an illustrated child's book. Oh, this is sick. It's like the same kind of vein as uh, Rainbow Fish. Oh, Rainbow Fish is a classic. Oh, buddy, it's a banger. That was like a scholastic book for icon. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Oh, same, really? The same Canadian with, staple. Yeah, dude. Same with uh, Something from Nothing. It's a beautiful mm. book. Taught I me a lot about like improv and stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's the reason why you're going to make it is because of that book. Buddy, I'm going to get that guy's book sales up again. Here. Oh, fuck I might it. even talk about it on Kill Tony. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, he's like, so who do you, uh, why is the reason you do that? Honestly, Honestly uh, something not. from Nothing Man, you know, saved my life. <laughs> I, <laughs> saved my life. Up, uh, I read it when I was five. <laughs> Actually, I didn't read it to me. My mom read it to me. I just looked at the pictures, <laughs> but I like summarized everything. And it was pretty solid. <laughs> fuck, that's funny. Yo, so uh, we were talking about the subway shit, bro. Uh, literally in one, like one go, one go of, Leaving one station to the next station. Yeah. I went down the stairs and I saw one guy with a fat tube in his arm. Ugh. Like, whatever, doing that. Syringe. I, yeah, syringe. I get into the gate. I go down to the, to the subway platform. I'm waiting for the train. It's me, this white woman, and this black lady sitting down. And she has AirPods in. So she's, she's talking, right, when I get there. And I think, okay, she's on the phone or something, right? She starts raising her voice and starts saying wild shit. And then she looks at me like, I don't, I can't tell if she was, if she was looking like 
at me or through, or you. through me. Yeah. Because she was talking. She was like this. Man, yeah, it's bullshit. You know, he's fucking Biden doing all this bull. And, and you fucking Muslims coming to this fucking country, ruining our fucking... I, no wonder you got fucking stabbed in the fucking face. You know, fuck you, you piece of shit. Looking right oh, yeah. at me. She was probably talking to you, dude. And then goes back, man, fucking Biden and shit, fucking... And you fucking mm-hmm. immigrants... Like she keeps like turning. Oh yeah. And when it comes to immigrants and Muslims, yeah, looks at me. Gosh. I'm like, I look like this too. Like I don't think I look like I'm like a fresh off the boat or yeah, anything. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't think I look that distinctly. You're a third generation uh, Muslim. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But, like I don't look distinctly. Like, like I'm like fucking from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like bitch, I'm Iranian. Yeah, Let's brother. Suck it. Yeah, yeah we're back. Persian. What yeah. the hell is wrong with yeah, you? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> so anyway, like. And I was like, after a while, like, she kept going, bro. And oh, then yeah. she got more and more severe with it. And I was like, bro, like, I was trying to, like, I, I you know, it, it sounds dumb, but I actually was a little bit nervous for my life. Oh, dude, I'm nervous in my neighborhood now, too, because they all thought we were cops when we first came in because we came into a oh, 2% white neighborhood. Look, you guys look co- like cops. Yeah, dude. You and Jarrett yeah. specifically together? So they all like think cops. we're cops, but then now I think the neighborhood's seen us too much and, like, know that we're not. So we're like, they're starting to fuck with us, man. <laughs> And like we were walking home, and then I'd like look at this guy. I always, when people I think are like shady or something, I'll look them in the eyes and say hello, right? I'll say, what's going on, man? You do that? I, yeah. Why? Just because it disarms them, or it, like I learned it. From, oh, like, really? It, yeah, I learned it when we were like doing like theft prevention in like at a liquor store, where it's like if someone comes in and you look them in the eyes and like ask them how their day is and shit, the likelihood of them to steal goes down exponentially. And then so it's like if there's any kind of like altercation or something, you can kind of like give them the energy. Like, uh-huh. of like, all right, well, like, if you're going to do something, we're going to get into it. Like, it's not going to be easy kind of thing, right? Yeah. So I'll always look at him and be like, hey, man, like, what's going on? Or say hello or be pleasant kind of, right? And then this guy was, like, staring at me while I'm walking up. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, I know this guy's going to say something, right? So then and his eyes were bugging. And then I was like, hey, man, what's going on? He goes, man, I fucking hate white people. What the fuck you doing in this neighborhood? Why you got to come to Brooklyn, man? Fucking white people and me and jerry Holy walking and then shit, I, and then dude. i just looked down and go it's all good dude it's whatever <laughs> i'm like it's whatever bro and then he was just like yeah i fucking hate white people i'm like you're entitled to your opinion bud and then just kept walking and then <laughs> jared's like yeah i don't know how many more throwbacks you were gonna yeah, have yeah, yeah, there's- but i was just like fuck it whatever but at the same time i'm just like man like i don't know it was like weird. I had the first sense of like being like the minority in the neighborhood, and I'm just like, oh fuck, everyone's looking at me. They're all fucking trying to punk me and shit. Like, yeah. this one kid came up to me on a scooter the other day, and he's like, "What's up, Mike and Ike?" Staring. Mike and Ike. Yeah, and That's I was, crazy. and I was like, "What the fuck?" And I just looked, and I was like, "Nothing, bro. What's up?" And then he kind of, no, yeah, and then he kind of like looked at me like, like, oh, and then he like scootered <laughs> yeah. away. And then I go to Urban Dictionary. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like what's Mike and Ike? You know, I like, just like at home. I'm like, what the fuck is Mike and Ike? Yeah, and yeah. He just called me testicles. Yeah, that's, that's all perfect. it means. He called me like a scrotum. Beautiful. Yeah, but I was like, the yeah, fuck, the out, fuck here. out of here. <laughs> and then he's just turning at you. Like, yeah, but the neighbor, yeah, the neighborhood's yeah. all fucking. What are you fucking looking at? Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. And then fucking, I was on my rooftop reading, bro, and they swatted me. Someone called in to fucking say that I was on the rooftop with a rifle just fucking brandishing and cleaning a rifle bullet. No way, bro. Yeah, dude. Wait, so, cops showed up? Yeah, dude. I was reading my book and then I hear like people above me and like there's no access to my roof except for through my window and then I like look up and there's fucking six cops staring up over at me. They're like, hey man, what are you doing? It's like reading my book. What's going on with you guys? Like, what are you doing up there? <laughs> And they're like, no, th- what, how did you get up here? I was like, oh, I got through through my window, man. Like, and they're like, your window? I'm like, yeah, dude. I, and they're like, you live here? I'm like, yeah, I live right here through this window. I'm like, I just come up here to read. I'm, I'm like, and then I'm like, what's going on? Like, am I, am I all like, is it, am I allowed to be up here? Is everything safe? What? And they're like, uh, you have no guns or weapons on you? I'm like, no, dude, just this book. But like, I don't know how much knowledge is in here. <laughs> and then, uh, and then he was like, okay, well, uh, just keep your hands up above your head, please. Can you keep your hands above your head and uh, and just stand up out of your chair, please? You know, I'm gonna come down there and I'm just gonna tell you what's going on. I'm like, yeah, dude, uh, sure. I'm like, but everything's good. He's like, I'm gonna come down and tell you what's happening. And then what? I, yeah, dude. And then I stand up and I see six more cops in the street with two cruisers that have blocked off the. No the road. way. 
Yeah, and then I like look at him and like the cops, and they're all fucking got their hands on the gun, <laughs> staring ready. up at me. Oh yeah, and then these guys come down the ladder and then to look at me, and then uh, they're like, "All right, do you mind if I frisk you for my own safety?" I'm like, "Yeah, dude." I'm like, "Do what you got to do." I'm like, "What's what's what's really going on, man?" Holy. And then the guy frisks me up, and he's like, "Okay, cool." He's like, "All right, uh, just gonna ask you if this sounds like you, uh, what <laughs> Caucasian male, brown hair, black sweater, and red shorts." And then I like look at everything, and I'm like, <laughs> "Uh, yeah." Yeah, dude, um, the only thing you yeah. forgot was a nice smile, <laughs> and then he, then he kind of like laughs, and I'm like disarming these yeah, guys, yeah, but yeah. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? I'm like nervous, and they're like, all right, somebody called in that you had a rifle on this roof That's behind the deli, insane. and I'm like, oh shit, yeah, no man, I'm just reading my book. And then he's like, okay, cool. Like, uh, that's it? I'm like, yeah, dude. I don't know. I'm fucking like reading my book. You see it and stuff. I'm like, how long were you guys watching me? He's like, oh, we're watching for a couple minutes. So I'm like, oh, yeah. Wow. And then, uh, and then I'm like, oh, okay. And then he's like, all right, well, this checks out. Sorry, man. Uh, is it all right if we go through your house to like, so we don't have to climb up. And I was what? like, I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. I don't mind. Like, you guys going to search it? Like, you need a warrant or anything? They're like, well, is there any guns or weapons in here? I go, no, dude, I'm from Canada, but I can fire up my Xbox and we can take a look at my loadout. <laughs> and then he kind of like, no, he said yeah, that. I said that. And then he was just like, oh, like Call of Duty. I'm like, yeah, yeah. bro. And then he's like, yeah, yeah okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we're good. Sorry, man. Just real apologetic and oh, like my God. enjoying it. And he's like, oh, fuck. Sorry, man. I'm like, no, dude, it's good. Like, I'm happy. I'm just fucking. It was good, sweet, yeah, yeah. thanks. I don't know. I'm, if someone called in a sniper, I'd wanted someone yeah, yeah, to come check sure. it out too. Yeah. And then he's like, "Oh yeah, okay, cool." And he's like, real nice and apologetic. But I'm just like, man, like that's wild. Oh yeah. So I think the neighborhood's turning on me, bro. Holy shit, man. Yeah. This guy's been here two weeks. No, I've been here eight months. Okay, well, fuck. but uh, it's long enough. Damn, man. bro. Get the fuck out of Bushwick, that, bro. Oh, I know. Yeah, that will never happen in Canada. No. You had. A dozen cops. Yeah, dude. A dozen cops come Waiting down. to shoot you. Why not? They didn't have guns drawn. I'm sure no, if but I had they a rifle, ready, they would though. blast me. No, you would have been murked. Oh, yeah. That's wild, bro. Yeah, dude. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't know what can happen. Yeah. Like, you literally have to be on Oh, alert. I was nervous. And then I'm yeah, like, but then I'm like, But then in that situation, I was like, I could definitely see how, like, anything can fucking go wrong. Mm. Like, if you do not comply to their yeah. orders or if I made, like, a sudden fucking movement? little movement pop, pop, pop. or, like, did something or yeah. went to go reach for something or some shit. So it's, like, I can see why, like, they're always high-strung, especially in a place where it's, like, you never know who has a gun. You never know who has know. a weapon and all that yeah. shit, right? Like, every day is fucking danger for them. And you're and you're going to, air, like, most of your calls are 90% going to be that person's worst day of their life right now. So it's like if you're the person that they're calling for. Yeah. Wherever cops show up, it's like, that's you're going to a bad day. It's like, you're not, oh, you know what I mean? That's true. You're that's always true. Yeah. going to somebody's bad day. That's a good point actually. Yeah. So that's it's a good point. So it's like, they're always on edge. They're always yeah. fucking thing. And then you never know who's squirmy enough to be like, Oh, I'm fucking, I got no way out, you know? Or so, like they have nothing to lose. Yeah. They have nothing to lose or it's like, they're all fucked up and shit. Oh, so it's like, you're always going to a high tense situation. So that's why they were so nice for us. Just like, I Dude, I don't know. I'll fucking grab my dick if you need to, bro. Yeah, I ain't got a rifle. Too. Trying to fucking yeah, I, I wanted to say a dick joke so bad the whole I know, time. You fucked the up the whole time, but I knew I couldn't make a fucking the only rifle I got is between my legs, yeah, boys. You know, because yeah. I'd be like, what they'd the be fuck? like, they might think it's an actual oh, rifle. Yeah, yeah you gotta be <laughs> yeah, specific. Yeah. Gotta fucking, you gotta say like hammer or yeah, like rod yeah, or something. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Make yeah. it. I don't know. Yeah, but they were like, you don't have a barrel. They said you were cleaning and brownishing a barrel, and I want to be like, the only barrels between my legs, fellas. You want to feel that? It's fucking nice, shiny. Try that steel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I've uh, I've had a lot of complaints about this barrel in my pants. Yeah, recently. apparently my pants. It's not loaded, <laughs> but I mean, if it is, it's shooting blanks. Am I right, fellas? Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Start pointing finger guns on. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who's fucking sniping up here? Hey, we're the same. Spider-Man. Yeah, hey. yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. That's wild, man. Yeah, so I don't know. My neighborhood's getting a little crazy. Hey, man. I feel like, uh, I mean, Brooklyn in general, I've, I've heard is like not, is not the best area. Well, every time, because like our place is kind of the last gentrified neighborhood, but every time we mm -hmm. have like a service person come in or like whatever, they always make a point of being like, man, you boys couldn't have lived here five years ago. Shit. You couldn't. Really? Have, yeah. They were like 10, 10 years. Like our window guy was like 10 years ago. You guys would be fucking beat up and robbed every day. And then, wow. and then he's like, shit, even like five years ago, you might have not even done this. Wow. Yeah. Really? Like, yeah. I've been in Brooklyn Bushwick my whole life, man. Fucking seen a lot of units doing all this shit. And man, let me tell you, boy, 10 years ago, you white boy, what we got? You get fucking robbed every day. Wow. Yeah, we were like, okay. 
But I think the neighborhood just wasn't fucking with us because they all thought we were cops, you know? And yeah, then, yeah, like, yeah, when we sense. first came in, they'd always, like, be, like, per and prom proper. We were having some beers or smoking joints in front of our place. They'd ask if we were, like, cops. And we're like, what do you mean, man? We're smoking joints and cops. Like, like uh, um, in front of the steps of the building? Yeah, in front of like our building. Like, other residents? Yeah, they'd, like, be talking to us. Like, really? They'd be drunk because we live above a bodega, right? So then oh. the people would come out of the bodega, and then ah. they'd be, like, talking to us, and we'd be waiting for a chopped cheese, just yeah, chopped having cheese. a beer or, yeah, like, yeah. a drink or whatever, and then they'd, like, stir up a conversation, and then be like, why the fuck, why are you guys here? Yeah. Why are you here? What are you dealing with? Yeah. yeah. What's up? You got cops? Yeah. <laughs> We're like, That's, no, dude, yeah, like, yeah. we're comedians from Canada. Shit, you boy Canadian? Ah, ah, all right. ah, and then, like, halfway <laughs> through the conversation, be like, you sure you're not cops? Yeah, yeah. Like, That's a good alibi. You yeah, say yeah, Canadian yeah, yeah, stuff. You know yeah. what I mean? And we're like, no, nah, dude, like, we're not. Or and like, comedian. Yeah, we'd walk through, like, uh, dice games and shit, and they'd be like, what's up, boys? How oh, you doing? Dice detectives? Games. And we're like, wow. yeah, yeah. And we'd be like, man, what the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah. Damn. And, and now they're. Yeah, now they're on your side. They're, they're, like, oh, they're one of us. Yeah, yeah, we're in too deep now. Now, now you can't leave. No. If you leave, you'll get robbed. Oh, well, fuck you. Yeah. It's the only way out of this neighborhood. You ain't going fucking, nowhere, white yeah. boy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Getting our ass beat up and yeah. shit. <laughs> fuck, that's crazy, man. Yeah. So what, what, what's what been your favorite part about touring in the in the States so far? Uh, well, I haven't even really been touring. I've just been doing this like New York shit, which has kind of been like pissing me off almost in a sense where like, you know, showcasing for the clubs or like putting in the time here and then taking those trips to Austin and doing some things. But I think it's just the my favorite thing about being here is leveling up where you're like, OK, like seeing the cadence of things or like knowing that everybody on the show is good, you know, yeah. right? where it's like, OK, now I'm no longer the best person on the show and I have to figure out how can I adapt to these people to convey my jokes and but keep my also myself and present it to them in a good way. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. And just meeting people and learning new tricks. Like, cause I knew everybody's tricks in Canada. And yeah, then when I, I come here, I'm like, oh fuck, oh shit, oh. Yeah. Like seeing a different style or a different way to tone or, or kind of like a, or a way of thinking or like kind of being in the American system. But then also my favorite part of America is actually seeing black comedy. I know, like, yeah. Like, tra- like actual, actual black comedy. Yeah, know. Because you have black comedians in Canada, but it's like it's not really black. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, you know what I mean? Really white. You're talking about the flights of like racism and whites between blacks, and yeah, then you're yeah. like, dude, it's like you're not like indigenous or anything. Like so that's <laughs> yeah. the real fuck. People that got fucked. Yeah. You know, know in know. a sense, or they're just doing like kind of like little clapter bits or pandering from like oh, you know what I mean? Man, like I I'm hate black that. to white kind of thing. I hate that. But here it's like fucking B E T shit or yeah. fucking when you see a Philly comic come on, just yeah. the cadence and the fucking I know, I know. Because they're not talking about like white people and black people no, or no, fucking, no, no, no. oh you guys want to do this yeah. and like that. But like, like, culture. <laughs> like kinda yeah, like kinda yeah. like a soft C B C like fucking like it. whack shit. Yeah. And then here it's just fucking boom, nothing Ripping but it. like so funny where mm. you're like, fuck yeah, that's what I want to see, you yeah. know? Where you're like, ah Yeah. Okay, all right, there's the there's the culture. I know. You know? That's the that's the real that's the real shit. Oh, 100%, man. Yeah, where it's just like, okay, and then you come back, and then you see, like, the end, and you're like, buddy, like... Not even the same Not realm. even the same, and then it's not, fucking, they're just destroying here, and, like, no. the energy, and you're like, fuck yeah, man. No. Have you done black rooms? Oh, yeah, I've done a couple here, here yeah. How are they? It's fun. Some some of them have been really good, and then other people at the time, but it's, like, different, though, right? Because it's, like, not only am I a white guy i'm a fucking super canadian dude so it's like you have like like one show i did where it was like it just literally got blacker and blacker and blacker and blacker in a sense of like the, co- the comics yeah oh. dude like it went from like <laughs> like normal like you know yeah there's comedy to like straight philly bt like yeah. crazy fucking shit the whole crowd's loving it fucking I'm, up and down. yeah and i'm sitting there like holy fuck i gotta follow this you know oh, and shit. then i go in and then i'm like hey guys i'm from canada <laughs> and then immediately the room's like man look Fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm funny. I'm funny. I'm funny. I'm funny. Just eating it, yeah. dude. And just <laughs> bombing so hard. Just feeling like, and then I got off and I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> then I'm like, shit, dog. Yo. It's a lot different now, huh, Canada? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, bro. Damn. I guess so. But then now it's like, it's like good, but. That's funny. Yeah, man. But it was like that first show, was, I was like, holy fuck. Dude. It's a different wor- man. I, yeah, those are the best rooms though. If oh, you it's can the greatest, kill in a man. black room. Oh yeah, 
That's got to be one of the best things. Oh, the yeah, world. dude. You get fucking a black uh, laugh, dude. It's worth oh, like five white laughs. 100%. Yeah, man. man. It's a five white laugh coin. My favorite part, like, as I can do is you, man, shit, you killed that dog. <laughs> yeah. You're pretty fucking funny for a white boy, man. You're oh, crazy, yeah, dog. Yeah, you're, you're crazy. crazy. Yeah. You're crazy, man. You're crazy for a white boy, dog. <laughs> That's my shit. I'm like, hell yeah, yeah, dude. I get my stripes on my eyebrows yeah. now. Mm, yeah. yeah. Walking around with confidence now? Yeah. Hey, what's, yeah. Yo, what's up, dog? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, how you doing, man? Yeah, yeah, that's Yo, like good? on the eyebrows, the stripes, like a Brazilian yeah. jiu-jitsu belt. <laughs> it's like, shit, this guy's a three-stripe black yeah. belt. You got cauliflower ears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Collie Bud's ears. Collie Bud's ears. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to Jam Rock. Yeah. Every time I come around. <laughs> Yo, that's a classic. Oh, yeah. Collie man. Bud's, yeah. He actually followed me recently. Did he? Collie Bud's. Oh, that's sick. It's pretty sick. I like that. Yeah, it's kind of random, but fuck it. Yeah, that's it's good. Pretty dope, right? Yeah. Man, I I can't wait to do black rooms, man. I feel like I would do a good job. I think so. I feel like you just gotta like. It's not that you have to pander, but like you know, there are some jokes you gotta that address they, the room. You gotta address the room a little bit. You gotta like. I feel like they would appreciate it if you shit on yourself a little bit first. Oh yeah. And then you talk about black people, but like in a f- if it's funny, yeah, like it, it'll crush. Well, well, it's like every time I'm in like a, if I do like a, like a like a crazy like room or whatever, and I have a big good stage, I'll always drop like my. Jamaican DJ. Oh man, bro, oh, man. I fucking died at that, bro. Yeah. When I shared that, so many people were like, "But who is this guy?" Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah, I always I love it when you, you share my people. Video. Like, oh yeah, I got I got yeah? some followers from it. I'm, yeah, bro, fucking so funny. It's like, it's very on brand with my humor. That's why. Yeah. It's like it's something I would do, like oh, yeah. in that realm. Um, and it's true. It's so true. Like I've literally seen so many videos of that. I've been in dance hall parties. Oh, yeah, I've seen it in first hand. Yeah. It's so fucking true. Yeah, but it's even funnier coming from you because it's oh, yeah. so good. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I usually take the tarp off, but I was. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like Thanksgiving weight. Yeah, the, like weight. Yeah, the barrel. Funny. The barrel's yeah, a little yeah. bit, a little slow today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just feeling sensitive. <laughs> just a little feeling sensitive. Feel ins- about my mid drift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny, man. What, were there any uh, um, uh, welcome to New York humbling moments? Oh yeah. This whole fucking trip's been humbling, bro. <laughs> Even to this day, it's it's like fucking it's tough for like, like you'll get sets and shit. But sometimes it's like I'll go like uh, you know like last week I had two sets and then you're like fuck I just kind of want to get some stage time or like I want to get like in front of good rooms, man. Where it's like it's tough for me right now in a sense where it's like some rooms fuck with me, other rooms don't, and then I'm just sitting in the fucking wings watching all this shit being like, Hey, well, when am I going to do it? Right. And that's kind of why I went to Austin where I was like, fuck it, man. Like who gives Mm -hmm. a shit? I'll come back here once I get a little bit of attraction and going. And then when I go to Austin, I went there and I'm playing sunset fucking 220 people. I'm playing Creek, hundred people. I'm playing fucking mothership, little boy, 80 people. I'm playing fucking, did the kill tony that was a bucket pull or whatever so i can't really say i did it but then now it's like i played the fat man doing the kill tony to fucking 300 people where it's like the shows there are like yeah okay the comedy is not as up to par as, yeah. as new york yeah. right don't yeah. get me wrong but yeah. it's like they're they're having they they made the call with the beacon and then now all the comics are kind of coming there and figuring it out and all that shit and the fans there dude are like actual true comedy fans yeah and then it's like if they can't get into the mothership then they go to all the other shows yeah and then you have these six clubs that are in that fucking two block radius and then they're filled with fans that actually appreciate comedy and like are going there and shit which is kind of like crazy but then again it's like some rooms are starved for it because the comedy isn't at a certain level, but they're still like, fuck it. We want to come. So it's like, mm. it's easy to stand out and then you go and get your followers up and then you come back here and then they shake your hand. Like they were best friends with you forever. And you go, yeah, okay, well Classic. what happened to the fucking six months? I was sitting in the wings, just trying to get a Monday for five minutes. Literally. Yeah. But it's okay. But it's like, I understand it though, where it's like the, you know, it's going to be slow rolling unless you just got a fucking horseshoe up your ass and they love everything about you. Right. So, so many comics here and all that. And like, I'm in lineup for my showcases, but it's mm-hmm. also like, Hey, well, like, what are we doing here? I know. So, I, and I heard, well, I, I've heard the Austin scene too is like, Everyone in New York's like, bro, like these guys aren't even real comics. Yeah, they well, you look at Austin. it and it's like majority open micers, but uh, like people that have been doing comedy five years that have flocked to the scene because it's so hot and new and there's uh-huh. a lot of opportunity. But then you also have like your hitters and your killers. Right. So you have like maybe you have your famous people. Yeah. Right. And then underneath the famous people, you probably have like 15 comics. 
that are good that are like yeah good bang and working all the time 15 yeah well like 15 probably that's yeah. that's like i'd say that's wild yeah you got your like, things and then the rest are like uh you know, comics that have been just doing it for like five, six years. Just better. mediocre. Yeah, but they're like good, decent. but they're just early in their mm, career, in the career. Yeah. right? So it's like you see these guys and you go, oh, you're going to be fucking banging in oh, like okay. four more years. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, But then now you have all this. It's uh, It was weird when I saw it because I went there like this is my third trip. And then you see the lay of the land, dude, where it's like, uh, you know, some of these people that had the opportunities maybe a year or two ago kind of. Well, all right, they're getting maybe phased out or they didn't have the chops to do it or something personal came in their lives. So then now there's a reshuffling phase there where they go, okay, well, who are the new guys that want to hug? Who are the hungrier guys now? Okay, who's the guys that are working? Well, are these are the new guys coming to town. Okay, well, let's give them shots, see what's up. So it's like, it's nice. And I like it almost in a sense because the scene's so small and compact and this that they have a pecking order where it's like, okay, like, like it almost like a, it feels like a soccer lineup or like a play like a sports line, but like, okay, well, you know, I haven't had too many good games here lately. So we're going to put you in a fucking shit spot and we're going to see what you can yeah. do on that shit spot. And then if you don't do good, okay, we'll relegate you to this show. Right. Now you're in like the fucking little farm team path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, let's put it here. Oh, this guy's been doing good. We've been hearing his name through all the clubs for the last couple of years. Give him a shot. Oh, he did good. Okay. Let's put him up over here. So it's like, everybody's always on edge, you know, like yeah. when I was there, dude, I felt the same kind of way that I was in Seattle. Where I'm like, oh, I'm in competition mode. Mm. Where I'm like, okay, I got to do dial in on my set. So I'm watching this guy. Okay, the crowd's working on that. Okay, I got to do this, right? Where it put, it put me where I was like firing again on all things. And it was like, <sighs> and I got into a flow state. Well, like here, I'm like, fuck, okay, I got to go to this room and hang out. Maybe <laughs> ask them for a spot for two weeks from now. Now I got to go over here. Oh, I'm going to go do this show. Oh, fucking three people. Sick. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to go here and do this. Oh, I'm in this room. This room's fucking whack anyways but it's the only place that's giving me stage time I so know. i gotta do it can't be me over there because yeah. if i'm me then i'm a fucking an enemy okay cool all right now i'm working over here i'm going to do this oh okay well now i got fucking four nights of hanging out <laughs> you know it's exhausting. yeah dude and then it's like oh how, oh yeah okay cool right they'll look at your followers they'll see whatever the fuck yeah. up yeah well why, why would i do that when i got a person that can fucking has sixty five thousand followers yeah okay whatever they're not funny but they're bringing six people out that's so wild. Or whatever, doing yeah, whatever, yeah, or fucking this kind of thing. Or yeah, well, yeah. this guy's been doing comedy three years, but he's been in the, he's been in our roster right. and our development kind of thing like this. Yeah, yeah. But he's got like a little following because six clips popped off. Yeah, and fucking huh. amazing. And now he's friends with this podcaster mm -hmm. or whatever, right? And kind yeah. of like thing. But I don't care. Like I get it. Yeah. yeah like yeah. I understand it, but it's like I'm here on a three year visa, dude. I'm not fucking waiting a year yeah, and a half, two years for this. You know. <sighs> That's the thing, man. So. It, yeah. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's difficult, for, uh, especially like when you're trying to acclimate into, into the, the circuit. Yeah. But actually th I think it's smart to, to go and jump around to the different uh, scene. Well, that's kind like of you're doing because yeah. look, it's already fucking helping you like so much. Just going to Austin doing kill Tony. Now I've, I've been feeling, I mean, you're going to get probably way more coming now. Yeah. Just in general because well, of that. And yeah, know. I look at it too, where it's just like, but I'm not complaining in an aspect of like, if I didn't come here, I wouldn't have got U.S. credit. I wouldn't have got the connections I have. I wouldn't have gotten as better as I am. Like, don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, exactly. Like, the city what, fucking yeah, makes, yeah, yeah. You, makes you good. It rips. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then I wouldn't have had the connection. I wouldn't have been able to open for Mark Norman in Edmonton. Mm, I wouldn't have, true. you know, like all these things are kind of scattered. And they're like, oh, you know, there is a weight to it where it's like, oh, this guy's in New York. Oh, okay. Like, you know, mm. there is that. 100% New York comedy Okay fucking this guy's Doing it in New York Oh he must be good Yeah yeah that's You know true. what I mean oh, he, oh okay he's doing These shows and stuff They see the posters The backdrops yeah. The videos Oh that's okay true. okay All this right yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day That's where you want to be Yeah like, You want to be a past Seller comic You want to be playing New York comedy club yeah. You want to be playing The stand Come Gotham, in Gotham Yeah people. come in here Bang them out Great shows Fly off Fuck yeah. off You know I know I agree I mm -hmm. think it should be It's almost like a hub Yeah It's, it's just your, your, your gym yeah. Over here and then I think most of the time it should be you're on the road. Well, that's the thing where a lot that's of you, the only you see the guys where they're here. Or if they're not doing the theaters at the stadiums and shit, right, they're right. doing the clubs on the weekend. Yeah, yeah. But then Monday through Thursday, they're hitting all the fucking rooms doing yeah, all that. I know. It's such a fucking yeah. sick grind. Oh, once, once you're like in with the with these clubs yeah. too in New York. Oh, yeah. Bro, I feel like you've hit the jackpot. Oh, 100%. Because then it, now when you, you know, when you go on tour and you go and you do your shows and you come back and you have a nut, you come back. 
There's such good rooms. Oh, yeah. It's like, bro, you can't beat that. Yeah, but you just got to get into the good rooms. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Which is, is a grind. But yeah, I think but yeah, some of the mics are good, though, here, too. Yeah, right? there's like some not ones. open mics, but like book shows. And yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I mean, I think the right people, like, the people who are actually talented and work hard, they will eventually get recognized. Oh, like, yeah. You know, your, your work will be No, it's like I already and, know, like, from what like people are talking, it's like, yeah, 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 we got you. Like, you know, yeah, they there know. is know. The, the, the order, right? It's yeah, like, yeah, I can't yeah. just come in here and fucking leapfrog people, right? Because there's people that are in the same predicament as me. I know. And then I'm just the next wave. Yeah. Right? But it's like, I also have that, like, Dude, I'm here on a visa. I know, I, need to I fucking know. Go like, come on, man. Like, in a way, time is of the essence. I just saved up, fucking. You know what I mean? I I'm hemorrhaging all my money. Yeah. Watching it go down, 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 down. <laughs> Nothing going in, in it. <laughs> right. And so I'm like, fuck it, man. I got to scramble. But no. it's also the same essence where it's just like, bet on yourself. Put all the chips on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because if to. I spend all my money on me, trying to do what I'm doing, like fucking taking the trip to Austin or doing whatever, saying fuck it, find a subletter, use that rent, pay it down for a fucking place. Even if I got to play two. Rent in two places, like who gives a fuck? Man, it, the more you invest in yourself, the 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 better future Danny and future whatever is is going to to succeed. Oh yeah. Um, I and I I, don't know, I also think just by working hard and, and staying consistent. Yeah. Like eventually these things will pay off. Oh without, yeah. But you you might not know when it's gonna happen, but like man, like when it does happen. I just feel like it's going to fucking hit. Oh, yeah. And well, that's what's I feel the exciting like, part. I feel like, like a, a rumbling yeah, now. Yeah, you feel right. Yeah. And then like, so it's good. Like, I don't know. I look at it where it's like what I have in my 2024 calendar to end it is fucking sick. And then going into 2025, I have some good shit. So it's like I already know like things are going to happen kind yeah. of like that. And yeah. like, I don't know. It's just like where you're like uh, you're at the water slide and you're like four or five people behind and you're like, fuck, oh, I on, just want to hit that water slide. I know, you know? I know. And you're looking at everyone. <laughs> launch and you're like oh fuck it, come on, yeah, come on. on. <laughs> let me in but come on <laughs> yeah yeah no nah, I mean, you'll be fine man honestly yeah i fucking believe in you bro like uh i um i obviously want to see you in and yeah all the boys you know what i'm saying it's, it's just like it's sick because the more all of us make it we all kind of make it together and oh, 100 it's cool you know that's I, I think we talked about it earlier today where you just see everybody and it's like i was yeah there, and you're like fucking you know nitty's over there you're here parker's in and out yeah it's Fucking so cool. Che, Ryan, I love it. everybody, we're just sitting like like there was one day at Williamsburg where it was like on the lineup is literally the corner. It was yeah, a, it was a corner lineup. I know. And there's maybe one American. They're like, "What the fuck's with you, all you yeah, Canadians?" Yeah, I so love it, like, dude. This just feels like 2016. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Good times. Oh yeah, <laughs> man. And it's funny though too because it was like literally Ryan was like, "Oh man," because he got famous off music first, right? And, like, yeah. Hit yeah. it big with John Stones. Yeah. And then he's like, "Man, I've seen it in music." He's like, "I." The fucking see it in comedy is like i already know like who's gonna be along for the ride mm. kind of in the journey of it and seeing it and he's like and we were like yeah i guess yeah. if this guy's saying it but we were all fucking he's our god yeah yeah and the songs played on a long and mcquade <laughs> speaker <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out long and mcquade yeah, bro man. uh no that's so true man and uh i'm uh, i think i think eventually it and because man i i always whenever i i because you know imposter syndrome too is such a big thing there's times where i'm like man like when is it gonna fucking hit when's it gonna hit and then slowly but surely you see things come in and you're mm. like oh this is what it is yeah it's not just like one moment no right you sometimes you have to step zoom out and be like oh shit like i am making it yeah but this is just like how it's going right now yeah and then but, but you don't even realize that because you're so emotionally attached to it yeah so you need at least either someone else that's like you know not emotionally con as connected as you are or just yourself to zoom on and be oh man like it's just a process you have to trust in it and you know eventually but like slowly but surely you next thing you know you're gonna be fucking everywhere yeah and you're like oh fuck like i remember when i was like struggling or like i was like stressing and stuff oh and yeah you're like, oh, it's all worth it yeah for reason, right? that's where it's like i get those kind of feelings where i go fucking what's like what do you like what are you doing yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like, yeah, no. look yeah. at the progress you've had. Look at like yeah, yeah. all of it, and then just be grateful. Yeah, and, like enjoy it, and like yeah, okay, sure. Like you know, you're kind of ruining your reality because you're thinking like, oh fucking, I want to. You know, you're not present and you're not enjoying it, and you're looking ahead of what you want, what you want. Why am I not? Why am I not? Why am I not? And then just to kind of sit there and be like. Well, no, you're just a kid from Edmonton who is always a troubled student. And now you're in America on a visa solely on dick jokes. 
It's wild. Like, smile. Yeah, think about it. Smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in New York, buddy. Look yeah, at that. I you know. see that building? The only way you ever knew what that building was was by watching Spider Man. Literally. And now you're here. I know. So, and you're crushing basement shows, pal. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And black yeah. rooms. Yeah, bro. yeah. Let me tell you, buddy. I fucking. <laughs> ooh, that three person crowd last ooh, week, bro. Wee. Fucking. Yeah. yeah. I know. But I, then it's also like, it's like moments where it's like, you know, like I was even kind of. You know, with the whatever Kill Tony came out, I'm looking, critiquing it. I'm like wondering, like, ah, fuck, I'm looking at it like this, kind of focusing on some comments, looking at all this shit. And then it was like, uh, do you know Charlotte Dobre or whatever? She yeah, 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 yeah. So Charlotte I, yeah, messaged I, me and she was like, man, me and Mike watched you on Kill Tony, all this stuff. She goes, you got to be fucking proud of yourself or this. Yeah, and yeah. then I kind of was like, oh, yeah, I am. But there's like this. She's like, no, 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 no. And she's like, fuck it. Like, don't fu look at that shit. Pat yourself on the back yeah. and be like, you fucking slayed that shit. And she's like, take a proud moment. And like enjoy it and and have fun and then I was like oh yeah and then I was like like I even told him like you probably deal with that shit like every day when she's putting out her videos she goes I professionally pay people as blockers like That's to amazing. professionally block people and shit. unreal yeah and I was like oh okay so it's nice to see what people are like you know who's successful in their own way and like actually made it where it's like you look at it where it's like you know to me i look at you and i'm like fuck buddy that's golden you know yeah where i'm like that's the shit that's the shit yeah you know like to yeah. have you know the followers of the shows to be able to do that like when mcdavid yeah, yeah. comes out to your oh, shows fucking, bro, I'm fucking rock yeah, hard buddy's <laughs> it, where i'm like fuck dude. i know, I know. <laughs> you tell me you flew out to muskoka to do a private party oh, for abs and i know and I, I was so like, excited to tell you fuck, I, I, knew I, was like, I was like man that was fucking sick <laughs> no i know so you like see these things and yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you got to kind of enjoy the successes that are come but it's like i don't know but i think that's just the the plight of man is like they always want more i know, know? that fucking okay what's next what's next and when you're thinking what's next you're like ruining it i know yeah it's it's, it's a cliche um simple concept but yeah. like literally just being present oh yeah and and in, and accepting where you are yeah is actually more powerful than thinking ahead yeah. sometimes you yeah know, it's good to plan ahead but also it's like oh you live in the now uh-huh where it's like, I know where it's like, I'm always thinking of like, okay, cool. I got to get out of here. I got to, what's the next move? What's all this stuff where it's like, uh, and then when I am in the next move, I'll look back and go like, oh fuck, man, I almost wish I enjoyed where I was. Right. Anymore. I know. You know? Yeah. But then you'll be like, ah, fuck it. I got to get here. And then, <laughs> and then you're like, Turn fuck, I get, my, what, how do I get to this fucking spot? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, and then you walk in you're like, what the fuck, yeah. dude? Come on, man. I should be playing a club. Dog. Yeah, like, that's some <laughs> bullshit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man, these fucking immigrants, man. Fucking yeah. coming into the country and shit. But it's also like, I'm looking forward to it. At like, like, I don't know. I know there'll be a time where I'm selling my own tickets and I'm doing my own things, but it's like, I, I, ha I have that like romantic fantasy about being like buddy's opener, you know, or like who? Like just anybody, just oh, a like somebody look up to, or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. For or sure, like for sure. fucking something where they're like, oh, yeah. "Hey, man, that was funny. You want to open? Yeah, and you're like, sick." And then you can just be a power opener, yeah, where you're just like fucking smashing it, set it up perfect for them, and then you can just watch back at the master class and yeah. you see them just fucking crushed, and then look outside the arena or the fucking mm -hmm. theater and be like, "God damn," you know, envision that shit. Oh yeah, it's great, man. Like you don't understand. Like so many people would die to be in your position, even. Oh, that's in my thing. position, and well, well, whoever else's position. Yeah, right. It's like, you know, I, I like I always mention this example. It's like, I, I, when I open for Russell Peters. Yeah. Like my idol. Yeah. In Scotiabank Arena. Oh yeah. Like I got ten minutes on stage. Yeah. But that ten minutes, fucking opened my eyes. Oh yeah. Way wider than i ever could see yeah because I, I went on that stage and like in my head i'm like ah oh, man like scotch bank like it's like, like 30 years deep into yeah. career into my career but it gave me this perspective of like oh man it's just another stage mm -hmm. i've done this before it's just more people it's just more people and honestly man i actually was more uh of a comic in that moment mm -hmm. because i was so prepared from all the years of practice yeah and the 10 minutes of you know i had 10 minutes of proper material yeah I'm like oh this is like Oh, I belong here. Yeah. It's in, it's invigorating. And then you're like, oh, okay. Now that itself gives you, uh, 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 opens up your eyes to be like, oh shit, I, I can't achieve this. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, you open for Mark Norman, right? Mm -hmm. In Edmonton. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm sure that was fucking great. And you're Super like, oh fun. man. Uh, and, but then you also, you think like, oh, it's going to be like this, like whole thing is going to make my career. It's not that it at doesn't. all, but it, 
it, in a way, it's good to know that, oh, this guy's just another human being too. Yeah. And he also had the same struggle. In oh, yeah. Well, it was nice when I was talking with him in the green room. And he's like, so how do you like New York? And I'm like, oh, man, it's all right. It's a little tough. He goes, yeah, I mean, I was mugged three times in the first time I moved there. And there I was go. like, oh, okay. Well, I haven't been mugged. So, you know, yeah, that's good. pretty good. I mean, yeah, yeah. they thought I had a rifle one yeah, time. Yeah, on the roof, yeah, but yeah, exactly. But <laughs> fucking better to have a rifle. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I was like, it's cool. And then he's telling me, like, you know, his first little moves to New York and all that stuff and how it was difficult for him and all that mm. and then you're like fuck man this guy's awesome like yeah not only is he great on stage but as a human being this guy's fucking dope yeah yeah and that's that's also also another thing too is like it's always the people who are actually successful and are doing well mm -hmm. who are also good people yeah for the most part yeah yeah but it was just nice where it was like he didn't have to like you know yeah. i was like oh thanks man you didn't have to like say yes he goes no man you're in town it was your hometown he's like fuck it dude like and Why not? And I'm sure you fucking crushed. Yeah, well, I had, like, good shows beforehand. Oh, okay. And, like, we were on some lineups, and I found out that he was, like, laughing at my stuff. And then, oh, yeah? And then Sorry. when I saw he was coming to Edmonton, my, or my buddy was like, yo, are you going to open for Mark? You should ask him. He's coming to Edmonton this date. And I was like, ah, okay, I'll plan it. And then yeah, I, yeah, like, yeah. booked that weekend at the comic strip. Nice. And then I was kind of, like, trying to find out where he could be because I didn't want to shoot a Hail Mary via social or whatever. Or oh, something. really? So then I was like, fuck, I need to be on a show with him, all this. Yeah. And then I had one of, like, a, a, sh a set at the stand. Oh. And then I went before him. So I was like, this is perfect. All I need to do is crush. Oh. And then I had a good set. And then that's when he was like kind of on his way out. And I was like, yeah, Mark. Hey. Um, Mark. Yeah. And then he was like, yeah, man, come on down. He's like, if you asked me a while ago, like if you asked me a couple weeks ago, I would have let you featured. He's like, but you want to go up first? Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Oh, I was like, damn. fuck, I should ask him Shit. sooner. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, whatever. So it was good. And yeah. Had a really fun show and he enjoyed it and stuff. And that's dope, man. And then, yeah. but then, but now you see like, you know, that, that without, you never know because that could just open up more doors later. Well, I'm looking at it too, where it's an aspect where it's like, if I go down to Austin and then I have a good time and then people are fucking with right. me and shit, it'll be like, Oh, you open for Mark. Okay. Well, if, I, if you open Must for be. Mark, let me ask him. Oh no, you did well. Okay. Why don't you come over exactly, to me? Man. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know when I look at it too. And it was like, uh, I don't know. I think everything happens for a reason and the yeah. way it does and it unfolds and you know, the world works in mysterious ways and shit. And like I said earlier, where it's like, to come here to go there figure what the fuck else out mm -hmm. and kind of like everything unfolds the way that it should and i don't know i think i'd rather have success later in life when i'm more mature and responsible things like if i had success or if i was doing what i'm doing now when i'm 24 i would have fucking squandered it for booze and women oh 100 percent. you know yeah that's I so yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Doing blow till five in the morning, just trying to finger bang chicks, getting fucked up. See Galaxy Mall. Oh yeah. yeah Galaxy yeah, Center. Yeah, yeah. Oh, rock and ride. <laughs> rock and ride. Yeah. Galaxy. Galaxy Land. <laughs> galaxy yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. 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 <laughs> Fallacy land. Fallacy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Phallic land. Phallic land. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a soft dick trying to <laughs> smush it in there like a marshmallow to a square cube. <laughs> just, just putting a little rice crispy pan. Oh in. yeah, a little yeah. fucking smash pudding for the kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little rice porridge, just smash mouth gum and <laughs> smash, or sm mouth. <laughs> Sm <laughs> smash mouth Michelle. Oh yeah, a little yeah. backseat gummy for the kids. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just little, rinse it. Fucking insync this dick in your mouth. Oh, Paul, oh, yeah, yeah. You could use her. You what could I, use her. Yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite. You could use her. You could use her. Have a go with her, right? <laughs> Take her for a rip. Ah, I love it, Take her a go. Give her a go. Yeah. Uh, you, I, I know you. You, uh, you crush food too. Love it. You're a fucking you. Okay, Mark Anthony, me and Mark are obviously good friends. Yeah. And we always talk about food. Yeah. The last I actually when I had him on the pod like a few weeks ago, two hours straight of just talking about food. Yeah, yeah. You know that's what we do. Um, you've had some fucking solid food experiences too you're bro every time you share a food thing on your story yeah i hate you because i'm like bro i can't eat this oh yeah i lose followers because of it and then i yeah. uh, and then they go hey man i had to stop following you it's like all your food made me want to fucking like eat and yeah, i was on I'm a like, diet like, brother i gotta fucking take care of myself here yeah but uh, you virtually eat through <laughs> what i present you but like do you actually eat th those foods because you know you're fucking in shape and stuff like, oh yeah you know fucking dude one of my like life goals is like uh to go to like turkey and then do like turkey lebanon oh, buddy. i would love to go to syria as well but fuck yeah it's a fucking war zone out there yeah, yeah. oh i mean yeah literally yeah, yeah but yeah. uh i don't know i've always like uh, yeah like, i just love food bro like i'll eat it and then i'll punish myself to like work out in the next day or do whatever. But yeah. it's like, I have a good decent metabolism and a kind of a good base. Yeah. So it's like, but I'll fucking unload dude. Oh, and man. people get upset too. Like, I know. 
Yeah. They're like, how are you eating so much? Like, why? And I'm like, buddy, you just shut up and eat. Just shut your mouth. Yeah, I'm fucking like, well, every time I see your like dinner plates, oh, buddy, your mom's mom meat crushes piece, kebab, so yeah. I'd be like, you piece of shit. <laughs> Bring me. <laughs> yeah, dude, I love love food. We, we just got the, the light, oh, the, 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 light? The, the podcast light. We got to head out of here because they got to get another person here. Mm. Um, you want to plug anything quick? Uh, you can follow me on uh, Instagram at Danny Martinello as well as listen to my podcast with my fellow comedian, uh, Jared Campbell. It's called the Dude Buddy Podcast. Every Monday we release it. And uh, just follow me on Instagram, man, and, and enjoy the ride. And if you haven't watched the latest Kill Tony episode, the panel is James McCann and Ari Matty. Give that a, give that a follow and a like and a subscribe. And uh, come, oh, yeah. come witness the journey. That's the madness of Martinello. Let's fucking go, pal. Shout out Edmonton Oilers. Let's go. Spoilers. Spoilers, Paul. <laughs>